We all get a kick out of hearing frightening stories about ghosts and demons, spooks and spectres, and even haunted houses. At some point in our lives, we've all been terrified by things that go bump in the night, and sometimes in the day as well. In this series, we're going to be looking at the truth behind the paranormal. We're going to be going after hellhounds, haunted houses, and even the hand of glory, which has a sinister power. I make my living writing about the battle between good and evil in thrilling bestsellers like Shadowmancer, Wormwood and Tertius. But where does the inspiration come from? For me, this is where it all started. As a young tearaway, I'd get on my bike and ride here to this place because in my imagination, this was a castle haunted by a vampire. And who would have known that three decades later, it would become the home of my most infamous villain, Obadiah Demeril. There is in fact a legend which says that this place was once lost in a bet over two wood lice running across a plate. There is even a legend which talks of witchcraft and magic taking place upon these battlements. And one local story says that Bram Stoker came here one foggy afternoon and was inspired to write his classic tale of Dracula. So could it be that the events at Jane's home have somehow been recorded and are replayed like a modern day hologram every time Jane sits at her piano to play? It's something that Jane is very comfortable with, but it's a story that can still tingle the imagination. Storytelling is an ancient and an honourable craft, and it's one that is replayed every night here in the city of York. Storytellers lurk in the shadows, ready to leap out on unsuspecting tourists and tell them tales of mystery and imagination. The sartorial man approaching me now calls himself the ghost detective. But is he the real thing, or is he yet another tourist trap? Noel Coward is reputed to have said that when it comes to the English stately home, what they lack in plumbing, they make up for in ghosts. The stately homes of England, though rather in the lurch, provide a lot of chances for psychical research. They're and it is as if every ancient pile is cashing in on its ghostly past, digging deep within its dungeons and filling up its coffers. There are grey ladies, there are white ladies, there are blue boys, there are even weeping women who leap out of the photograph looking for their lost loves. But how far do you go in exploiting your paranormal past before you put off your guests? In these days of computer graphics, Chillingham Castle may look like a movie set. In fact, it was used for the filming of Kate Blanchett's epic movie, Elizabeth. But it is the real thing. It was built in the 12th century. It was fortified in 1344. It was visited by King Edward I and by King James I, the scourge of witchcraft. And if these fortified walls were built to keep people out, what secrets does it keep within? 